Hi everyone, bus with this side for a very long time and I'm really sorry for that. So today we're, we're going to discuss about BGP protocol. Indeed, we're going to discuss about eBGP and iBGP. So what are the difference between eBGP and iBGP? So eBGP stands for external border gateway protocol and iBGP stands for internal border gateway protocol. So as you can see in this diagram, the blue section is IBGP. These blue sections are IBGP and red section is, uh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake in here. This should be EBGP external, okay? So these two blue sections are EBGP and the red section is IBGP. Why? Let's look at it. So router A and router B has different autonomous system number right so when you configure the bgp you also have to configure the autonomous systems so that these two routers can be identified according to their as number right so router a is as 65000 so router b is as 65001 these two as numbers are very different so what that means is these two are ebgp if the peer router, if the both connected routers have different AS number, that means these are external border gateway protocol, eBGP, right? So how about the red, um, in the red area? In this, uh, in this section, the router B, C, D, E, and F has autonomous system 65001. So because these one, two, three, four, five routers have same AS numbers. These will be considered as internal border gateway protocol, IBGP. Same goes with the uh, these F router F and G. These two have very different AS numbers. That means these are EBGP. So in summary, what is EBGP and IBGP? So EBGP is if the peer router has different AS numbers, then these are considered as eBGP. And if the peer router or group of router has the same AS number, then these are iBGP. I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you guys. It was a short video after a very long time. I hope I would catch up with another exciting tutorials. Thank you everyone.